Today we're going to be talking about prayer. I'm sure all of you guys know that prayer is just talking to God and it's very simple. You know, nowadays if you want to call your friend, you need to get on a phone. You know, you might have an iPhone or your parents might have an iPhone or you may have a landline at home. You might have to write an email or go on Facebook, write a message through Instagram or something like that if your parents let you do that. Um, but if you want to talk to God, you don't need any of those things. You could just talk to God whenever you want and God is right there listening. That's the wonderful thing about prayer. You don't have to jump through any hoops to pray to God. I remember when I was younger, um, when I was in middle school, I had to walk two miles to go home. And no matter where I was in my walk, I would just pray to God. And that was my prayer time. So, you know, wherever I was, I would just pray. And I remember there was these big woods behind my house. And by the time I got to those woods, I was really immersed in a time of prayer and I was really enjoying nature and creation. Well, if you think about it, that communication is really like a link to our relationship with God. If you think about how important it is to talk to your friends, you know, you can't have a friendship with someone if you don't communicate with them, right? Um, I'm sure all of your friends are at school or, you know, maybe at church or, you know, in, in different organizations that you're involved with. Maybe when you play sports, you see your friends. Um, but that friendship is there because you talk to them and you spend time with them. Same with God. We need to talk to God and spend time with God in order to have a relationship with God. And we can be encouraged that no matter when, uh, no matter what time it is, no matter where you are, God is listening. I remember when I graduated from college, the speaker, the commencement speaker was Jane Goodall. She's a very famous scientist. And what she did was she showed the world how to communicate with chimpanzees. So back 60 years ago, people thought nobody can talk except human beings. You know, nobody can use tools except human beings. And she really studied chimpanzees and she actually lived with them for like two years. And she actually was accepted into the chimpanzee community and she learned the chimpanzee language. She, you know, in her speech um, during my graduation, she said, when a chimpanzee is happy, they sound like this. When they're sad, they sound like this. When they're scared, they sound like this. And she made the chimpanzee noises uh, during the commencement speech. And I remember everybody stopped and was like, oh my goodness, what is she doing? <laughs> um, but she showed the world what it's like to communicate with a chimpanzee. And that communication really opened up the world for us as human beings. So in that same way, we can communicate with God through prayer, through talking to God. God is listening to us and can hear our prayers. And whether we're having a good day or a bad day, God can hear you and you can bring all of your thoughts and your prayer requests to God no matter what. So I hope we can all remember to do that this week. Amen.